Okay, so I propose that uh, we start with uh, a question. Okay, uh, I principle Yes, this question of May 2014. May 2014, question 4B. May 2014, question 4B. B. Question 4B. So I want you to start by drawing Monte Carlos. I believe that we all know how to do the Monte Carlos. Yeah, draw the Monte Carlo for the selling price. Monte Carlo for the selling price. So here we have uh, shillings. Then we have the probability. We have cumulative probability. And then we have the rate. We have the rate. Of the rate. So we have forty, we have fifty five, we have sixty, zero point three, zero point five, and zero point two. Cumulative will be zero point one. 0 0.8 and 1. Now, the other day when we came across Monte Carlo, uh, I think there were two, two decimals. There were two decimals. But this one, you can see it is one decimal. So I want us to do the one, one decimal. So in the range, this will be 0, 2. <laughs> so if it is one decimal, you need to multiply by 10. So when you multiply by 10, this one will be three. Then three uh, less one, two, yes. But that Okifanya Nami is still okay. But you can see the examiner has provided one digit of random numbers. So that means he expects you to use one digit. Then the next one will be three to what? To seven, three to seven. And the next one will be eight to what? To nine, yeah. So do that for the others two. Do that quickly for the others two. Oh, 
So if we have grown, we can grow uh, now the simulation sheets. Simulation sheets. So in the simulation sheets, in the simulation sheets, we have a uh, trial number trial number that will be the first column then we have selling price selling price remember simulation is not a topic it's a method of solving many problems. Remember, someone asked me, so it's almost simulation, this is quite mental. Simulation is a method, it's a formula that you have to make in many areas, including quite a few. So we have the random number and shillings. We can call the shillings A. Then we have variable cost, 
variable costs, we have random number and shillings, which I want to call B. Then we have sales volume. We have random number and then units, which I want to call C. Then we have a fixed cost, which I want to call D. And then we will have total profits. Total profits. And total profit will be given as uh, A minus B. You multiply by the units then you minus the fixed costs. Then you minus the fixed costs. So that is how the, so the profits will be arrived at. Okay, so it should be true. Those are not yet be fast. Fast.
So now, uh, so answer number one. Kweka one hako, pick the first random number, eight. Ukieta kwa Monte Carlo ya selling price. That gives you how much? 60. 60. 60. Uh, then the next random number is what? Zero. Get a common decaro ya variable cost. 20. The next random number is six. Get a common decaro ya units. Fifty thousand. And the fixed costs, we are told they are sixty thousand. And remember this formula, this formula you need to call to be a square. Either to equal to the CFX minus F. CFX minus F. CM the price minus variable cost. X is units. F the EP. Yeah. Uh -huh. So how much is the profit there? 1940,000. 1940,000. To add the number two, give me the Monte Carlo. Zero. Zero gives us the same price of 40. Uh -huh. The next random number. Four that gives us a multi, uh, variable cost of that is that five. Yes. That five, then random number three. How many units? That five thousand fixed cost is sixty thousand. Copy 115. 115,000. 115,000. I have 20 number three. Six. That gives us what? 55. The next random number, three. Three gives us the variable cost of 35 shillings. Eh? Uh -huh. The next random number, two, gives us how many units? 35,000 again. And the fixed cost is 60,000. And the fixed cost is uh -huh. 640,000. So I believe at that juncture you can do it for six. Yeah. Now, this question you are supposed to do 25 rounds. So after you do the 25 rands, you get the total profit. So you will get the total profit and then divide by 25. However, I just propose you 
you just do 10. Uh, even in the exam, we recommend you do between four and eight. Don't do all the 25, not unless it happens that this is the only question you can answer in that <laughs> exam. <laughs> and you can take all your time. But what we check are just a few things when you are marking these questions on uh, simulation. One, Monte Carlo, how the Genesa, Monte Carlo. Number two, the random number. When you make a random number, when we go to your Monte Carlo, did you pick the correct value? Yeah. Yeah. And then number three, we check the design of this one. So easy to begin and we don't. Yeah. Because being a random numbers, you can even pick from wherever. You can pick from wherever. And again, this one, when they are given to one decimal, you could also have used two decimals. And if you use two decimals, some of the values here will be different, and all of them will be okay. Picking random numbers, see that much you answer, you have to answer. You can start from the same term and condition, whatever you want. Now, after you work, see that you have to in a row like we are doing. When I was at two as old, they were three, we can call a modest child. Then we can call a begin. So, whichever way you prefer. So, our issue is, we have to do this. We to end up with Monte Carlo and you picked correct. That's all. You don't have to take out of time on that. So, here, you know, Marisa, the last question I want to do so that we can be clear from there. I can do some may, Kaswari, Kapapa. This question of uh, December 2013, question two. December 2013, question two. Read it through. December 2013. Read through that question. Aha, maona kama unaelewa hili. Now number 1, the question is asking about graphs. A graph. A graph is not on a part of your syllabus. I'm talking about 2015. That's why I have not taught you how to draw CVP graphs. So that one is not answer. Now going to part B, 
but we are told to get the break-even point unit and it changed. As I told you in the morning, when you read uh, any question on CVP analysis, the first thing is always to classify that question. The first thing is to be able to classify the question. So the question has uh, how many uh, products? Two. Two. So it's multiple products. Multiple products. And is the question uh, certain or uncertain? So the question is something, eh? So certainty, CVP analysis, certainty, CVP analysis. So when we are asked to get the break-even points in units, we will say that XBE is given as F, you divide by WACM. F, you divide by WACM. So WACM will be the weight of A, contribution margin of A, plus the weight of B, contribution margin of B. The weight of A, contribution margin. So the weight of A, you can see where the units are. Eh? If you can see those units, then the weight of A is 12 out of 16. Good. Times the contribution margin of A. What is the selling price of A? The selling price of A is five. And the variable cost is The variable cost is four. <laughs> Plus, this one will be four out of 16. Multiply by B, the contribution margin, you can 10. And sorry, that is the same price. And the variable cost is three. So what is the weight double contribution mark? Two point five. So XBE will then be will then be the fixed cost. Fixed cost is uh, 300,000, eh? 300,000, you divide by 2.5. How many? 120,000 units. Composed of? Composed of A, if you are told to break down this one, eh, you still use these ratios, these weights. So as I mean, 12 out of 16 times 120. 12 out of 16 times 120. Yeah? 
90,000 90, units and B, it will be 4 out of 16 times 120, 30,000, 30,000 units, 30,000 units. That is how you break them down. Okay, then when in shillings, when you are told to work it out in shillings, you then proceed and tell us R B E is F, you divide by W E C M R. W E C M R. And in this case, you should also remember that contribution margin ratio is given as contribution margin divided by the price. Contribution margin divided by the price. So contribution margin ratio for A Contribution margin ratio for A will be require a contribution margin of one to divide by five. One to divide by five, that is 0 0.2. And then contribution margin ratio of B. Contribution margin ratio of B. is seven out of 10, that is 0 0.7. So WACMR is weight of A, contribution margin ratio of A, plus weight of B, contribution margin ratio of B.
So, uh, the weight of A will be given in terms of the revenues. You can see A at sales of uh, 600. You know? So, if I say 6 out of 10, 6 out of 10 times 0 0.2 plus B equal to 4 out of 10, 400,000 out of 1 million times 0 0.7. Zero point four. So our RBE will be three hundred thousand. You divide by zero point four. <coughs> Seven hundred and fifty thousand. So composed of A, it is uh, six out of 10 times 750,000. And B, it is four out of 10, four out of 10 times 750,000. So that is how you can break it. Okay, then from there, profits made by M, we know it is given as WHCM, X minus F, WHCM, that is how we get the profits made. When we are in units, so in the current mix, in the current mix, WACM, we had computed to Kapata 2.5. That's all. WACM was 2.5. So the profit made would then be 2.5 times the 160,000 units. Is it 160 or 120? The total units 160, yeah. Total units 160. You less the fixed cost of 300,000. You less the fixed costs. Oh, three hundred thousand. 
One and a half. Now in the proposed mix, in the proposed mix, in the proposed mix, WACM will be one out of two times one, because we are told they want to do one is to one. So the weight will be a half times the contribution margin equal to number than one for the first product, plus another half of the original equal contribution margin is seven. Contribution margin is seven. Four is it? So the profit made is uh, four times one sixty minus three hundred thousand. Three hundred forty. Three hundred forty. So, what do you advise? Should they change the mix? Yes. Yeah, good. They should change because when they are doing the current one, they are making a profit of hundred. But to Akibadisha, they go to three forty. You know what matters is not really so much what you do, but it's what you take home. That's all. Hmm? Not really so much what you do. Obviously, we need the acceptable limits. So, for your assignments, you can uh, attempt the following. May 2014, question 3C. May 2014, question 3C. May 2015, question 3B. May 2015, question 3B. And uh, September 2015. September 2015, question 5B. September 2015, question 5B. So, do those questions. As I keep on telling you, we are not compulsory, but they are necessary. They are not compulsory. We carry this, we carry left a student, and we are going to be a to prepare. I'm assigning to you. It was there, filler by filler. So far, I'm here. 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 Maybe things will be different. But most likely, as I work with some who are doing a book at the money, I can say, My God, do this. But I'm going to get you now. So these things are necessary. So make an effort and attempt. That's a good one. I'm going to get you to the Marizana. 
we get to a new topic called non routine transitions. Non routine decisions. Right, that these are decisions which are not frequently made. These are decisions which are not frequently made but they have a big impact on the company but they have a big impact on the company the most common are most common are one product mix, number two, special pricing, number three, make or buy, number four, drop or retain. And number five is replacement analysis. Replacement analysis. Those are the most common decisions. This one is more in FM, so I will not go through it. I believe it's still in the syllabus. Uh, and the yearly test also in KME. I just say on a last time you on a watch more than 16 years. So this is more in the field, but it's a mandatory decision. Okay, then down there, you write that when making decisions, when making decisions, the concept of relevance is observed. The concept of relevance is observed. So stop. Relevance is the ability. Relevance is the ability to influence to influence a decision. To influence a decision. Costs which influence a decision, costs which influence a decision are known as relevant costs, are known as relevant costs. They are described using such words as, they are described using such words as variable, direct, marginal, specific, Incremental and differential and differential. Another point is uh, costs which do not have the ability, costs which 
do not have the ability to influence that decision. Do not have the ability to influence that decision are known as derivatives. Are known as derivatives. Are known as derivatives. First of all, they are described using such words as described using such words as fixed. Indirect overhead apportioned apportioned allocated allocated general. Common, Stroxemia, and Sun, Stroke Historical, Stroke Past, Sun Historical Past. And um, they write that the following principles are used. The following principles are used in judging relevance of costs. In judging relevance of costs. So up to that point, we are saying that routine, there are decisions that you don't make every day. Something that you do every day or every often is known as routine. So a routine is something you don't do every now and then, but they have an impact on the company. Now, when you're making these decisions, you must observe relevance. Relevance is the ability to be influenced by a decision or the ability to influence a decision. And what that means is if something is relevant, if you fail to recognize it, then your decision will not be implemented successfully. So for example, as you go home now, you are using a matatu, and by the time you leave this room, you fail to recognize whether you have fear or you don't have. And then it happens that how a fear. Then your plan of going home may not be successful until when Makanga comes to your case, because like you could just ask a fair and ahuna, maybe they'll tell you to arrive. So those items that influence the decisions, we call them relevant. Those which do not, we call them irrelevant. Now in this course, you will not get in the question that tells you the following are relevant costs. The following are irrelevant. You will see those very many names that are given you. And we expect you to know which ones are relevant and which ones are Relevant. So you must get note of all those names. You can a cost in it that name. Relevant, I'm an irrelevant. Yeah. Now we have three main elements of costs, and we need to discard the first one. I think we already have seen the following principles. Mm -hmm. So let's start with the direct materials cost. Direct materials cost. Point number one. If the materials to be used in the decision, if the materials to be used in the decision are not in the store, are not in the store. Come on. Future purchase price, future purchase price is the relevant cost. 
is the relevant cost. Point number two. If the materials to be used in the division, if the materials to be used in the division are currently present, are currently present in the store, are currently present in the store, semicolon, Roman number one. Original purchase price is relevant. Original purchase price is relevant. Roman two. Future, future purchase costs, future purchase cost is the relevant cost. If is the relevant cost, if they will have to be increased, is the relevant cost if they will have to be replaced. Point number three. Net realizable value. Net realizable value. is the relevant cost, is the relevant cost if materials are being held for sale. Is the relevant cost if materials are being held for sale. Roman four. Disposal costs, disposal costs is a relevant reduction in cost, is a relevant reduction in cost, a relevant reduction in cost if materials are waiting to be disposed of. If materials are waiting to be disposed of. Are waiting to be disposed of. Now, when we talk about something relevant, we are simply saying, when you start thinking of that decision, which cost should quickly hit your mind? Which cost should you think about? So number one, to Nasema, if the material would that me in that position, you don't have it. Then what should hit your mind is the purchase cost. So if for some reasons you feel like you want to take a soda, what should quickly come to your mind is the purchase cost of that soda. Then if you already have the material, if you have the item, like now when we are doing the questions here, eh? Uh, I expect you to use your calculator. But see, as you know, as you know, as you know, as you know, as So in deciding whether that you know, as you know, or not, do you quickly remember how much you had paid for the car? No. no. Because you already have it, and the original purchase price is the elephant. And the reason is, whether to be here or to be here, the money will never come back to you. If you are holding that calculator, Sahi, after class at five, and the fellow has just sent a confirmation SMS that is still coming. Then I'm here following your calc. 
I'm telling you nitarudisha on Monday. What now should hit your mind quickly in deciding whether utanipea hiyo calculator ama utanipea ni hiyo 500. Because ukinipatia you will lose the 500. Ama tuseme una you operate so mtu amekutembelea hapo kwa duka. Una decide whether utanipea mkate na soda. So don't remember the cost of that. Remember how much you, should, you will get if you sold the soda and cut. Another thing is, if you are holding that calculator, maybe at six, kuna exam, kuna mahali unaenda kumitumia, and here I am borrowing that card, return on money. If you want to give me the card, and the exam is there at six, then you must look for another so the cost of getting another calculator is what should hit your mind. It's called the replacement cost. And finally, if you are holding, we normally have these garbage and we have these fellows who come for them, the garbage collectors. Eh? So this guy, uh, he's coming at five, it's quite so bad. But a few minutes before he comes, or a few hours, your neighbor knocks at your door and says, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming, he's I have some other use. Maybe I have some animals I can consume them. As you decide whether to release those garbages to your neighbor or not, what should hit your mind is the disposal cost, he or me, and it comes in as good news. Because, Ukipe a neighbor his or garbage, we will garbage collector out of neighbor. And at the point of discussing with the neighbor, the cost of paying the garbage, the garbage collector is already incurred. Wakatul Murikubariana garbage collector, that is when you incurred the cost. What had not come was the time to pay. Just like as we sit here, I'm for you to go to back to your house required to use a matter. As we speak, as we sit here, the cost of fear is already in card. What has not come is the time to pay. Yeah. And that one, when uh, someone comes in, it is called consumer surprise. And it is very good. Sweet. I don't know whether you have ever been paid for, like in the Matatu, mtu wana kulipia fair. Mwai lipi wana? Ama kwa hoteli, mtu wana sema hizo bills in Kalipa. It feels nice. And when, uh, when they are paying, when you have not, number one, requested them to pay for you, or you have not sent any signal that you are unable to pay your bills, but someone out of their own reasons, why not? Yeah. It feels nice. Yeah. My, myself, nowadays, when I go to most of the hotels, the probability that I will pay is very low. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I have taught him this thing for the last almost 14, 16 years. So you can imagine how many people have taught. And the days we used to have big classes, even 150 plus, not to have to be a public address. So I've taught very many people. Yeah. So the probability that, that the accountant in that hotel knows me is very high. So I go to some of the hotels in Abewa, Manakitu and I got a compliment. Here in Manipa from there, from the office. And it feels so nice. But I ensure next time I don't get back to that hotel. <laughs> <laughs> so that I don't become a bad Now every Sunday that you have the entire family, when I end up, it becomes what? A bad Or if I have to go back, I will I ensure I pay them. Yeah. Yeah. So that is called consumer surprise. So that is called consumer surprise. Number two. Or oh, the next item is uh, direct materials, not direct materials, direct labor. Direct labor costs. Direct labor costs. Direct labor costs. Which has been the formula. So direct labor cost point number one 
if there is idle capacity, if there is idle capacity, there is idle capacity, direct labor cost is irrelevant. Direct labor cost is irrelevant. Number two, if there is no idle capacity, if there is no idle capacity, but labor can be acquired, but labor can be acquired on a temporary basis. Labor can be acquired on a temporary basis. The hiring charge is the relevant cost. The hiring charge is the relevant cost. Point number three. If there is no idle capacity, if there is no idle capacity, and labor cannot be hired, and labor cannot be hired on a temporary basis, cannot be hired on a temporary basis. The relevant cost is the normal labor cost. The relevant cost is the normal labor cost. Plus, plus the opportunity costs. Plus the opportunity costs. Now, if you look at uh, this room, eh, I think we have uh, one, two, uh, three, four, five, around 14 seats. So our capacity is 14. And the number of students who are here, they are, those are seven. So the actual, they are seven. So that means this room has a length of capacity of what? Seven. There are seven chairs that are not occupied. Assume that right now there are some seven students new who are applying admission to this school. When the principal is deciding whether to admit them or not, among the factors he will consider, my salary should not be considered. My salary is irrelevant. Because the way I'm teaching the seven is the way I would have taught the 14. The salary I would get after teaching the seven is the salary I would have gotten if I was teaching 14. But on the other case, if now the actual is 14, meaning we don't have the idle capacity, but we have some new seven students, and then it happens, Wakikuja, we cannot get a bigger room whereby all the 14 plus the 7 plus 1 is a better one. Take our normal class. So if we don't have this room, what then will happen? We will call this existing class, class A, and this one we will call it class B. So this to Kai Hapa, wow, I the next one room. Then we look for another teacher. So that means if it is possible to get that other teacher, this teacher is what we should consider. Such that if the fee that is going to be brought by the new students will be enough to cater for the salary of the new teacher, then we go ahead and admit them. But if they are paying something that will not be enough to pay the new teacher, then you don't admit. Case number three is 
you don't have hydro capacity again, you don't have a bigger room, and you still have to admit these students. So you create two classes. And when you go looking for a new teacher, you don't get. So what happens, the current teacher who is teaching in this class, uh, like you people, I teach you two days in a week. So I will now be told to be teaching you one day here and one day here. Then every, at the end of every topic, let's say I normally solve four questions, like what you have done in the CDP. So with the new arrangement, I will now only solve what? Two and two. Now, what will happen? First of all, the new group will not complain at all. They will think that is how things are done. Just like you people when you came here, now Kapata LA two lessons, LM two lessons, AFM two lessons. Have you ever wondered why they are here? It has never clicked your mind. And even the deed with the Abia Kama and Yona and Hivo, about what we call Mikisoma Hivo and Peter, past 20. You are okay. But this group now will complain because they were used to two lessons. Now they are being given what? One lesson. They were used to four questions and now two questions. Obviously, without a corresponding refund of their fee. We will go to Melipa 22,000. Now the 22, then you Melipa, we are happy. You know, if they could call you and be a sasa to talk a lay out, but you now lose our address, Lakini after this, you keep our accounts, which we have come in a motor in Fabia. That can be good. But also, one of Bumbuza, but there is no corresponding what? Refund. So, what this group will do, as I have a principle, demanding status quo to be maintained. As usual, principle of Fabia, hold on to dog on the minute for Nakashida, Nakasta Mari, by next week at the court. So, as good people, Munarudi. Mukirudi, one week is gone, two weeks, nothing done. Then I'm going to say, ah, we are actually at an advanced stage in solving this problem. Next week, what do you want Then I'm going to say, then two, three weeks, nothing done. That is the time in Africa when I say, after all, destiny is not the only college. See what you're going to The other colleges, which you know, see you know them, they into a perfect market structure where there is free flow of information. Eh? I'm not using the idea of a message that has circulated almost everywhere. Eh? <laughs> and some people are threatened to take me to court, and I'm telling them we go on because I don't just speak out of the rules. I know what I'm saying. So it's a perfect market structure where information flows freely. Number two, there is free entry. Come away when you put a hopper. The only thing they just got concerned, we come on very far. Actually, no one bothered to know whether you're qualified to be in Zek 5. Studio? No one bothered. Where we just care when people are 25, 22, they are Zek 5. Like, other side, you can go and get ITV. If you do your ITV, you can get an ITV. Because it's free entry. It's also free exit. For some reasons, you can talk You don't require anyone's what? Permission. Where will I jump? Yes. Now, a good business person does not see his customers as human beings or should not see customers as human beings. He should see them as money. Oh, this is a Maria Hapa. She's the owner of Adam. She's the owner of 22,000, 22,000, Those are the eyes of a good business person. And the reason is, or the explanation is this. When you see a fellow human being, the way God created us, automatically the body can release emotions. This is what young people nowadays in Kasema in a feel, the feelings, eh? I'm feeling you. So that's what people are saying. Those are emotions and they're automatic. It's only that we don't get an opportunity to keep on telling each other how we feel about them. But ukiniona na mimi ni kuone tu angariana hivo, our bodies generate emotions. These emotions at the beginning, they, they, they are what we call like or dislike. It is either you are liking me or disliking me. Even you have to be an angry. Now, when this one is nurtured, it is it matures to be called what? Love. And this one, it matures to be called what? 
none of this is good for the business. When you develop a love uh, emotion, you are likely to undercharge. Assume that in this class, and I'm saying assume that Kimani has a girlfriend in this class. And it happens that I'm the one in charge of the school fees. Do you think that girlfriend will pay school fees? No. Actually, even some people get to know in the corridors of the, 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 the school. Eh? Now, is that good to undercharge? Is it good for the organization? No. On the other side, it is also possible to concern them to have Abisa, concern the Abisa, attack Wonana. If I'm in charge of the operation at school, I will simply give instructions. Who you want to accuse the Kanaka from Fukuza Abisa? So, Fukuza, since 22,000 in Fukuza. Is it good for the organization? No. So what you should do is, or rather, so far, we don't have any statistics of people who looked at money and they developed a, a, a hate emotion. So that you attend a test. That's all. Yes. So when you look at your customers as money, again, the ball of tips, and you love them. Not as human beings, but as what? As money. And you know what we do to people that we love. One, we want to be near them. We feel good when we are near them. We do good things too, to them. So when you do those things to your customers, you serve them well, then they will be satisfied and they will remain with you. And if what you are offering to them is uh, they, 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 they get satisfied, they will always recommend. What you needed from me, you are now satisfied. But you will always refer other people because I looked at you as money, you can do better, and I serve you well. So that is the explanation. Now, my point was the student have said destiny is not the only school. So at the end, so at the end, I'm here as a So I'm here as a mother. 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 So I'm here as a Number two, I got to put a hapa, three of my students were here. Nearly 66,000 in Korea. So we're going to have that. Get that 88,000. Come and see your hippo, where you end up, watch and kind of water, water too. That's how it's at. Now, what you can take for life purposes is that when you are idle, you are so cheap. So cheap that even the devil can afford. That's why they say an angel mind is the devil's what? But when you are busy, you are very expensive. So in your life, never let anyone know that you are what? As you negotiate for whatever deals, because there are many deals you negotiate with that boy, don't negotiate putting an image that you are idle. You will be given zero value. You will actually be grabbed. No, 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 grab Masham. They grab land that is idle. They don't grab land that is being used. So let people know that you are, you are busy. See, we go to can we take coffee? And I say, the next five minutes I'll be there. No, that's not right. It's showing that you're what? Yeah. But don't again be so busy. You can also be very busy and miss out on what? Opportunities. Point number three, overheads. Overheads. I already have three people who are serious in struggle. <laughs> uh, overheads and point number one. Point number one is that variable overheads are relevant costs. Variable overheads are relevant costs. Point number two, fixed overheads are irrelevant costs. Fixed overheads are irrelevant costs. But if they change because of the decision, 
but if they change because of the decision, the proportionate change is a relevant amount. The proportionate change is a relevant amount. So you have an explanation. So let's get now to the first decision. Product mix decision. Product mix decision. Right, that this is a decision. This is a decision formed where there are where there are key or limiting factors. Key or limiting factors. That is scarce resources. Cast the resources. The objective is to obtain or is to determine. The objective is to determine. The objective is to determine optimal production mix. Optimal production mix. When key factor is one, when key factor is one, add more than one products can be produced. When key factor is one, and more than one. Product be produced. The method used is called first principles. The method used is called first principles. Another point is that when there are several key factors. When there are several key factors, when there are several key factors and only one product is to be produced, and only one product is to be produced is to be produced the method used the method used the method used is called advanced is called advanced first principles. It's called advanced first principles. Okay, so now we have the questions. Those who are online are sent. Jane, you can also check the email. The others, you can check the WhatsApp group. 
Those are online, can you confirm receipts of uh, those questions? Those are online, have you seen the handouts? Okay, that's good, that's good. So question number one. Thank you, thank you. That's good. That's good. So, in answering that question, that is the that is the question of uh, 
June 2010, question one. Now, the first thing is to know how many key factors are present. The question according to part B, Roman uh, one. Rather, there is nowhere it has mentioned eh, that it is scarce. But one of the key indicators of uh, something that is scarce is when you see the maximum quantity provided. The maximum quantity provided. The maximum quantity provided. So that is uh, one key factor. One key factor. And there are several what? Products. There are several products. So if there are several products, but to me, are which method? It is first principles. That is the method that we are going to use because there is just one key factor. Uh, there are several products that you can make and you therefore have to use the first principles. So part A is asking, what is that that you must use in making decision? And what we use in making decision is simply called contribution margin per unit of the key factor, per unit of the key factor. That is the single most important factor, and you see how it guides decisions. The contribution margin per unit of the key factor. Per unit of the key factor. Then when you come to part B, when you come to part B, we now an analyze analysis for installation, installation labor hours. Analysis for installation labor hours. So we will have details here. Then we will have a unit. And then we will have total. Then we will have Details are unit and total. So now for product A, product A, if you go to the table where you can see the costs provided, Product A has uh, an installation labor cost of how much? 24. And according to the additional information to Mesoma, that one hour in the review of Pesangapi, eight shares. So 24, if you divide by eight, that means one unit had taken how many hours? Three. One unit had taken three hours. One unit taken three hours. Alafu sasa kuna kitu wanaita maximum demand. Ukiangalia kwa additional information ya maximum demand, product A will require how many units? 2,000. And each one of them, tumepata it require three hours. 
So that man means we must have 6,000 hours of that. That means we must have 6,000 hours. We do the same for product B. Product B, labor cost, you have to be inflation. That's two. So that's two. You divide by eight. That means you must have four hours. Na kwa maximum demand, tunaitajika how many units? 3,000. So 3,000 times four gives us what? 12,000. Get twelve thousand. Then product C. Product C. We have a labor cost of how much? Huh? Forty-four. So forty-four. You divide by eight. Five point five. And when you divide so. Uh, the maximum demand for that product in Gapi. So 1800 times 5.5. 5. Hmm? 9900. 9900. So if you add that, all those hours, what you get is the required. If you get there, the three of them, the answer you get is the required number of hours. Twenty-seven thousand nine hundred. Eh? Then you compare with what is available. You compare with what is available. We have with us 25,000 hours. Five thousand hours. So that means we have a short, you know, a short fall of 2,900. So that is how you get to know whether something is scarce or not. You simply compare the required vis-a-vis -vis the available. When you're making decisions, if you want to change and improve your circumstances, you should approach the decision from required then to available or from available to required. If you want to change your circumstances. Good. You should always be good from there. The required. Then you go to what is? That is now when you, you open the door for progress. But if you focus more on what is available, you stop. You stagnate. Because you can only see where you are. Like right now, why you are in this class and struggling to keep your eyes open is because your mind is on what? It's on required. Unaona, those days to come, I require this kind of a job, I require this kind of money, I require this kind of life. Like you look at right now, where you are, the kind of money and the kind of life you have, and the kind of education, you may just say, that's a for now. But when you focus more on that, you get out and start looking for ways. I think that's when they say where there is a will, there is what? We. Right. Next is uh, now to get the table for the. for optimal production mix. 
<laughs> so there are usually two tables that we grew. Called analysis table. Now, this analysis table it has a column called details. Where begin, we begin with contribution margin. Contribution margin. Then we get key factor. Per unit, key factor per unit, then contribution margin, contribution margin per unit of key factor, per unit of key factor. And then rank. So we have product A, B, and C. We know how to compute contribution that it is the what? Selling price minus variable cost. So those selling prices, you can see them there and the variable cost. So all those costs are variables, you just subtract them and tell me uh, product A, color CM, how much? Hundred. Eh? So we have a hundred. I have B. You do the same thing. One or three. And C. One 
The key factor per unit are the hours we have gotten per unit. So for A, what to what? Three hours, B, four, and C, five point five. 5.5. Yeah. Yeah. Contribution margin per key factor we simply divide. Like now, how about the same 100 divided by 3? That gives us what? That 3.3. Then 103. To divide by four. Hmm? Five point seven five. And then one sixty three to divide by five point five. Six four. Now, the meaning here is like this. Eh? If you produce and sell one unit of A, you will make 100 shares profit. But for you to do that, you will have used three hours. Meaning, a single hour used in A is giving you a profit of 30. If you produce and sell one unit of B, you make 103 profit. But you will have used four hours. So a single hour used in B is giving you 25. If you produce and sell a unit of C, you will make 163. And uh, you will have used 5.5 hours. So a single hour is giving you 29. Now, because an hour is just an hour, so to put it, and these hours are not enough for everyone. Then it's only fair you take them where they are generating more. It's only fair you take them where they are generating more. So whoever is generating more per hour, you are number one. Akitosheka, tupeleke number two. Yeah. Akitosheka, tupeleke kwa number three. Now this is what we wrote in part A to Kasemba. It is the single most factor. That makes or determines the decisions you are going to make. That's how we get to the rank. Anything else that we are going to do will be guided by this, which has come from this. That's why we say the most important. Send you. So this allocation said you we begin with rank. We begin with uh, rank. Then we go to products. We go to products. Then we go to maximum. Demand. Maximum demand. Then we have We have key factor here. A unit required. And available. And available. 
Then we have unit mate. Unit mate. On the unit, or after unit made, we again come back here to key factor. Where we say uh, this is used, and then what is left. So that is the design of the allocation table. Okay, so the analysis begins like this. We want to produce product which is number one. At number one, you know, A. And maximum demand here, A, in a dual what? 2000. And the per unit hours, they are three. So that means we must have 6,000 hours. But how many hours do we have with us? 25,000. So if you have 25 and you require six, can you afford? Yes, so if yes, you may call the unit 2,000. If yes, you may call the units. And in so doing, you will have used what? 6,000 hours. 19,000. Nineteen 
Number two is which product? C. C, we have a maximum demand of uh, 1,800. And then uh, the hours are 5.5. .5. The required then must be 9,900. 19,000. So can we afford? So if yes, you make 1,800 units. You will come to me at 9,900. So, what are you nineteen thousand? We're back to Gapi. Hmm. Ninety one, eh? Yeah, ninety one hundred. Product number three. We it is called B. Now, you a maximum demand here. 3,000. Number unit we require four. So that means we must have with us 12,000. So if that is what we must have, not to call 9,100. Can we afford? No, we cannot afford three. So if you cannot afford, uh, all of them you go for what you can. So that's I 9400 rather than 9100, you divide by four. You have to do how many units you can be able to make. 2275. You have to go to me at 9100. Now all the hours that we had, they are fully used. All the hours that we have, they are pleased. So these units which are here, this is the to optimal product mix. So the other evil in the caution. So what cool is the maximum profit? Maximum profit. You simply take, you see product A, we are going to make what? 2,000 units. 2,000 units. Now one unit of A, we go in the entire contribution margin here, 100. Plus B to me amua or C. C to the eighteen hundred. Now each one in a threat contribution margin here one sixty three. One sixty three. Ah yeah. Then we go to B. B to the Zerma to the Genesa, went to 75. And each one in a trade a contribution margin of 103. So here the contribution you take. Then you minus the fixed cost. Fixed cost will not be one in 450,000. 
Still have faith moments. Fifty more minutes. Now, after wage increase, after wage increase, by shillings four per hour. Sidio, wages are increasing by. Si tu mayabiwa ina toka twelve, or rather ina toka eight yende. 12. So if that is true, Maximum profit now when salaries increase, do profits increase or decrease? Decrease, decrease. good. So, what will happen for product A? We will still produce 2000 units, but now. The contribution margin will be a hundred less four shillings per hour. Na A is when I touch how many hours? Three. That is for A. Plus, we could have to C, we will still make the eighteen hundred. Times one sixty three, which first of all must go down by four shillings per hour. Now see, it is going like that five point five hours. It is going like that five point five hours. Then for product B. Now, on upper, so we take another 22, but see you in it. You got an attacker. You got an attacker, what? 3,000. But because hours were scarce, you can be able to scale down to this. But with the promise of the salary increment, these guys are ready to work more. So if they work more, they will be able to give us all the 3,000 that we wanted. So for B, we'll have to work with 3,000. Times. Each one has a contribution of one or three, which must come down by four shillings per hour. And we are using four hours. We are using four hours. Then you less 450,000. Two forty eight to forty thousand eight hundred. 
agreed? 240,800. So what do you advise? Should they increase the salaries? If you are the owner of the company, do you give them a salary hike? No. That's why you find the employer being very, very what? Rating. Eh? <laughs> it's increasing your salary. Yeah. Increasing your salary. Because salary increment does not necessarily, right? does not necessarily come with increased productivity. So for example, so now that you're my son, my son, my son, Example, we are taking five pages. How many required me? I believe I'm. I will be paid for that. You think to be put me at taking ten pages? You want to me at taking more? Let's see. See there. Yeah. Ah, those for younger. So I zakuwa that to me at taking more because I will be excited of the new money. Zakuwa na panga how to use it. So the best way uh, is where you work. You think that they don't pay you enough. You develop yourself like what you have done. You come back to school, sharpen your skills so that you can be promoted to the next level. Yes. Lakini as long as level, You will not put your in a far for that. Level. So, come on, we'll just check on here. Go back to school, look for other ways of sharpening your skills, making that you are more productive. We'll direct the next level. I'm sure I'm going to have a At the same time, I'm in the same company. You'll be able to move to another what? Company. So, now I see that here, bro. Uh, assume that, uh, assuming that Kufuza section six, you told the report by Samini Kufuza five. Meaning, she didn't clear up to the principal in your reserve charge. Where is the company? Mr. Bagan, he has a Kufuza what? Six. 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 Now, within the remaining 40 minutes, I want to handle question three. And we shall not read, I will be directing you where necessary. Uh, but on your own, you will handle question two. On your own, you handle question two, which is very similar to the one that we have handled. Now, this question that I want us to handle. Question number two, sorry, question three. It has several key factors, several key factors, and one product. And one product. So it is called advanced first principles. Advanced first principles. So the Igawanya in three columns. The Igawa in three columns. We have a column called details. 
And then the second column is called part A or product A. And the other one is called part B. So the advanced first principles is a situation where we commit all the resources to one product. I have to know how it can perform or the profit it can generate. That is exactly what we are going to do now. So the first part here is units made using all units made using all because you have to eat. So the question says that X Limited is an established supplier of precision parts to a major aircraft manufacturer. It has been offered the choice of making part A and B for the next period, but not both. So that is the, the one that makes us say a single product, because it's not both. Uh, both parts use the same metal, a titanium alloy, of which there are 10,000 kilos only are available. I told you, Ukiona maximum quantity of item has been provided. Chances are very high that product will be scarce. Chances are very high to be scarce. Uh, and it is 12.5. The parts are made by passing it through two fully automatic computer controlled machine rights as a T, whose capacities are limited. That confirms their key factors. So that tells you we have two others. We have the machine rain and the arrow. So we have the demand, the, what they are calling the maximum call of points. That is the demand, it's the maximum demand, the other one for maximum demand. We have the price, we have the ROA usage, we have the machine types. Then we have the hours available. So without understanding, let's assume that or rather let's now see what happens if you commit all ROE, the entire ROE. ROE OTE, which is 13,000. And one unit of product A is taking how many kilos? 1.6. So if you divide, you can be able to make how many units? Hmm? 8125. So you all take a. Those are the units you can make in A. Vile vile ukipeleka everything to B. B one unit in Aitaji, how many kilos? 1.6. So this is also in the one twenty five. The next issue is S hours. S hours, all right, S hours. The S hours. Ukiangalia okay, hapo chini S hours zote the how many thousands? Right in S. Iko na 4000, si ndio? Alafu ukisonga hapo juu unagundua one unit of A inatumia how many hours of right like S. So if you divide 4000 by 0 0.6 4,000 by 0 0.6 is what? 6,000, 
666. You don't round up because the seventh one will not be fully completed. Will not be fully completed. Aya, tuende kwa hui mingine. The 4,000, you commit them to B. B now in Itachi, how many hours? Hmm? 0 0.25 hours. Huh? 16? Oh, 16 hours. 16 hours. Then we do the same to T hours. T hours. So T hours, there are how many all of them? 45 and now product A ikona itaji ya how many? 0 0.5. 9,000. Eh, you divide by zero point five five eight one eight one. So what that means is if all those resources are committed to that product. Those are the units you can make. So you need to pick what I will call possible units. And these possible units, I want us to call them C. Possible units. Possible units. So, okay, part A. What is the possible number of units? The maximum possible. The word maximum in the it has nothing to do with the end. To go up. Units made. So, the maximum possible here. Hmm? Okay, I'm sure you people you go for interviews. So there. And there is this simple question they don't often forget. Tell us your weakness. Are you able to answer that question? I can why you right? how strong you are. What do you do? That would be my house from you are. You should look at your weaknesses. That could do a house from how far you can survive. Look at your weaknesses. And you need to identify those weaknesses as soon as possible. And you start working on them. And as you work on them, you also ensure not many people get to know. Because when we know them and we want to work on you, you know to talk about the visa to talk. Did you ask that on the person? Either person me give a kidog, you become unstable. You just manipulate the amount of money that comes your way. Did you ask that on the hasira? Especially even at the workplaces, you could name my name in which hand. You two are attacking your position, yeah. Luckily, you are qualified for that. Now, I'm not going to have to do it. 
So they just start the you. Wanajua where you can easily mess. Hiyo kaketi ina faida. Then unaruka juu chini wapi? Mess up everything. Then they come quietly and in a hypocrite commander na kwa hiyo sasa naona mmefanya. We are no longer able to retain. Na ni kitu that was manipulated. So you need to identify your weakness. You work on them and you conceal them from actually from everyone. Let me say that. Yesterday I was telling someone I've come to hear it's quite much. Be very careful how much you tell anyone. Even that friend you think is your closest. Those are witness in many cases where people very close friends become enemies. Sasa kama nilikuwa nimekutua ndani nje na nimekuwa maadui. I can easily work on you. <laughs> so be very careful. Okay, let's come back here. Oh, I needed also to see a system is as strong as its weak point. A system is as strong as its weak point. So hapa our maximum unit we can make is the minimum. So hapa ukitaka kutengeneza you go for this one. Na hapa you will go for this one. Maybe to bring it a little bit closer. To say me, ni maji, ukonaya, we? Ama ni whatever items. Pipe A, iko that size. Pipe B, iko hivo. And pipe C, iko hivo. Unataka hiyo maji, piti hapa. Which pipe should be kaiti? This is A, this is B, this is C. Ama, wale wacha ni atani na mambo ya pipe ili wa za familia. Tuseme uko na magari. Unatoa watu mshago, wakuja hapa Nairobi, alafu after Nairobi, wapelekwe to the nearest town. Tuseme you live like somewhere in Kitengera or in Westlands, alafu kutoka hapo wapelekwe kwako nyumbani. So ile gari inatoka ushago ni basi ya 2 sita niwafikisha hapa tabu. Ile gari umepewa ya kutoa hapa Nairobi, uwapeleke hii watau kwa hivyo ni ni nisani ya latini. Kale kagari katawachukua hapo kwa tabu, na kupeleke kwa nyumba yako, ni sarunika ya four passengers. Kutatua watu wangati uchangu. Kwa hivyo, 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 Ukibeba na team, wakifika hiwa town, the others will still be. So if you want, when you are talking about Shago, finally a big kekwako, you should be guided by this one. Ujukwe watu, hii bazi kuja empty. Hawa hine, watatosea hii kanisa. Wakifika hapo karibu na kwenu, watatosea hii kasaluni ka. Super sad. So how strong you are is determined by how weak. Sasa hii hii these products na tekeneza zinapitia bill process. Ukichukua hii 9000 itapita kwa T lakini ikifika kwa S ikifika kwa R itatosha. Equally ukichukua hii ita one hapa haitatosha lakini hapa itatosha lakini hapa hii itakuwa. But ukichukua hii 6000 itapita all the way. So with those very many explanations from the students. Aya, from there now, we bring selling price. Selling price of A, ni kapi? One? 145. For product B, ni? 115. Those are the selling prices. Then you say less 
variable cost. Less variable costs. So variable cost, what's that to be the arrow? Arrow is a variable cost. Ukiangalia huko juu, arrow in one kilo I want to use here. 12.5, see there? And one unit of A in a 1.6 kilos. So you multiply that. You have to do how much is that? The same argument will be advanced here, which still gives us 20. Then we come to overhead. Now overhead, we have line S. As a line S. Ukienda hapo chini mahali kuna overhead, you will see the OER, the overhead at social rate. In line S, ni gapi? 80. So sasa utachukua 80 per hour multiplied by the number of hours. Na tunajua A ikiwa kwa S, inaitaji how many hours? 0 0.6. Naitaji 0 0.6. Forty-eight. After us, hapa eight times zero point two five. Zero point two five. That gives us what? Twenty years. And twenty quarantine. Right T. It is 100, the OER is 100. And then we have 0 0.5. Then 100 here and 0 0.55. So those are the variable costs that we have. So we get a figure called contribution margin. Contribution margin, and I want to call it B. Contribution margin and I want to call it B. Uh -huh. A in a contribution margin, uh, what? 27. B, 20. Ah, so as I give a hippo, we get a figure called total contribution. And this total contribution, we will get it as C times D. And I want us to call it E. C times D. C times D. So E is 6666 times 27. 179,982. I have the same case here. It's 
So the meaning of that is to Kiamua, we are only making for A. It will give us this profit. To Kiseto for B, it will give us this. So which one is better? A. A. So you can circle this one. Although the table bundle is like there, so that we use the same table to answer that B. And we are doing the same style. But now, part B introduces new issues. When I say that as an alternative to the target price shown above, the aircraft manufacturer has offered the following alternative arrangement. Target price less than percent plus 60 per hour for each unused machine hour. So, Let's first of all deal with unused hours. Unused hours. The meaning of that is that any hour that is unused, yeah, you can sell it for something else and get a few coins. So we will have line uh, S. Now, this is our line S. I want us to call them F here. Line S, we will call it F. It will be argued like this. We began with 4,000 hours of line S. 4,000 hours of line S. And then in our analysis, we were of the view that company A to the Veneza, you can only afford to make 6,666. And each one of them is taking you 0 0.6 hours. So that means you have how many hours that remain unused? 0 0.4. Now, this is why I told you you should not round up. Because the seventh one here required 0 0.6 hours. I don't know if it was in the back in 0 0.4. So as you get Tosha, I'm the seventh. Okay, you will say we have the 4,000. We have the 4,000. And we are of the opinion that we can make it 125 units. Each taking us 0 0.25 hours. Nineteen sixty eight point seven five. So those hours remain idle. Yamua Kueta Bad B. Let's go to line T and argue the same way. EFG. So this one we call it G. Kueta Kwa. Line T, the same at 4,500. Minus 6666. Six, six, six. Each one is taking 0 0.5 hours. Okay. Eleven sixty-seven point oh exact eh? eleven sixty-seven. Ah, yeah. the same argument here forty-five hundred minus zero point rather minus eight one twenty-five times zero point five five times zero point five five. Uh, 
at 1.5. Good. 1.25. So those are the the unused hours. Yes. Those are the unused hours in that line T. Sasa, these hours to not do we can sell them. These hours to not do we can sell them. So I'm going to have something we'll call extra contribution. Extra contribution. Extra contribution. So extra contribution, let's start with line S. Where we will say it is 60F and we call it H. So just multiply as I did. And there's my book. So, to Nandere, how much is this? Asa, we are like T. Rain T I will now say 60G and I call it K. 60G. So that will be 60 times 1167. Seventy zero twenty. I have a with sixty times that one point two five. Eighteen seventy five. That is the extra contribution. So as we go by and by in the other divisions, eh? You will be hearing the mention of alternative use of the resources that will become idle. So when we do what we are going to do, these are resources that become idle. So what else can we do with them? So in this case, Nabiwa, we can do something else that the especially for our That's a lot of money when I organize you know what happened now. You to funge. The next thing that you need to bring is called lost contribution. Now, lost contribution is coming in because we are going to give discounts. We are going to give discounts. So, it will be 10% of the price times units, and we can even call it M. 10%, is it 10% how they are giving? Yeah, they are giving a discount of 10%. So it will be 10% times the price times the units.
So for the first one, it will be 10% of 145. And the units are 6,666. And the units are Ninety-six thousand six five seven. Then ten percent here of one one five, and the units are eight one twenty five. Four three point five. Then finally, we get something called new total contribution. New total contribution. And the new total contribution. The new total contribution Taipata from where we have begun e, is E. Wongeze, the new ones, the, the extra, the Akwaza ni H. Eh? So you add H, and after Wongeze K, then you less M, what we have lost. Less M, what we have lost. So, huh? it's not a it's not a it's not a Ama, if you want to come back, you have to come back in the same way. 153. 369. And then we will begin it. 189. 062.5. 062.5. So once again, the decision is still based on these two totals. If you now proceed in the making A, you see actually you even do us than where you have begun, eh? You put to me as an 179. That's why we did see you go down. That's what they're saying now that day, yeah? Okay. But with this other one, we, we improve from 162 to 189. So we will now recommend 
that under new circumstances, it is better they do uh, product B. It's better they produce product B. So any question? So I propose that you handle the question that follows that in the handout. That should be question number four. It is exactly the same like this. The only difference is that that one has three products, but this one has two. Yeah, but they are the same. So it's what are the same uh, arrangement. So we call it the other juncture and hope to meet in the next lesson. Thank you. Thank you.